At St. Peter's University on Thursday over at Jersey City, a number of citywide and statewide officials met up to talk about prisoner reentry. The event was organized by Mayor Stephen Fulop and former Governor James McGreevy. While you've already seen what our current governor, Chris Christie, and our U.S. Attorney here in New Jersey, Paul Fishman, had to say about the matter, check out what Fulop and McGreevy had to say. Today's conference, Prison Reentry Breaking the Cycle, understands the scourge of American prisons today and what we need to do to break the cycle of recidivism and ultimately incarceration. The next gentleman is the person who had possessed the vision and the clarity of the vision to organize this conference. He's a young man, I believe, who's not only assiduously focused at developing job opportunities in Jersey City and all the stats of new commercial development, but most importantly is linking communities, and particularly communities of color, to those job opportunities through training and development. And as today, prison re-entry, for so many of us, we sort of drive up past those large concrete walls and forget that they're human beings. Let me say thank you to all those who lived through the criminal justice system, those who have worked with prosecutors, those who worked with the public defenders, those who worked with the judiciary, those who have been incarcerated, some of which are here, those who help keep inmates incarcerated, and those who have advocated against incarceration. My hope is that today we rise above our individual perspectives and work to try to reclaim the lives of those who have been incarcerated. See, America is frankly doing something very, very wrong. We are incarcerating today more of our fellow citizens as a percentage of our population than any nation in the world. Yes, we are sadly number one. We, in this country, have the highest incarceration rate in the entire world. And as we've yearned to secure the highest standard of living and bridge differences in communities, we seemingly have lost our way on some issues as to equity and moral balance in our society. Nowhere is this more apparent than examining the grossly distorted American incarceration rates. In this country, with 5% of the world's population, America locks up 25% of the world's incarcerated population. It is a statistic that is sad and clearly points to failure. And furthermore, with 70% of our inmates classified as addicts, why is it that we lock criminals up for extended periods of time without the benefit of addiction treatment? Does it not make sense that when we have the benefit of securing people away from the madness of the streets to provide treatment, that we would do something, yet instead of beginning treatment for the disease of addiction, we simply replace the madness of the streets with a new madness, the controlled chaos of what we call prison? America can do much, much better. Our prisons, with a barbed wire, lack of educational programming, and limited treatment, are a moral cancer on society. I know that I drive by, as many of you drive by, the Northern State Prison and Hudson County Jail with really callous indifference almost every day. If for the people who are residing in state prison or county jail or federal prison, their ability to successfully re-enter society is in part dependent on what we do here today. We, as policymakers, as advocates, as citizens of conscience, must ask ourselves, why is it so simple to spend $45,000 a year to incarcerate, however, not a fraction of that cost to ensure the success of a person transitioning from incarceration to freedom? I'm John Hytus, Hudson County TV, Jersey City.